Let me give a shout out to Black Justice on Twitter for sending me this story that is coming out of Columbus, Ohio, where you have this woman right here whose name is Trenice Turner. She is 34 years old and she has been charged with shooting her five year old son in the knee or in the knees while he was intoxicated. Let me say something right there. A knee injury or anything that can harm the knee is one of the most painful injuries ever. I actually just recently hit my knee on the side of my bed today, so I couldn't even imagine what it's like being shot in the knee. And then the knee is a huge area that if it's injured incorrectly or it's badly injured, I should say, it will affect how you can walk or if you can even walk again. And you got to think she shot her five year old son. He's five in the knees while she was under the influence. Not only is she saying jail time, but she's also going to have her child taken away from her and she'll have no one else to blame but herself. The only good thing is that her son was not killed, but still at the same time, like that's not good. An Ohio woman was in jail Tuesday after authorities alleged that she drunkenly fired a gunshot that struck her five year old son in both knees. Janice Brianne Turner, age 30, of Columbus, is charged with endangering a child, a felony, and misdemeanor domestic violence by assault. Columbus police officials said that officers were called shortly after 5 p.m. Friday to Nationwide Children's Hospital, where Turner's young son was being treated for a gunshot wound to his knees. Detectives determined that the five-year-old was lying on the couch next to his mother. Miss Turner, who was intoxicated, was pointing her handgun at several adults in the home, making threats. As Turner was putting the weapon back in her purse, she reportedly fired a shot that struck the boy's legs. He was taken by family members to Children's, where he was expected to undergo surgery for his wounds. Jail records indicate that bond has not been set, and it doesn't need to be set. Like, look at what she did. She was acting reckless. She was drunk, waving around her gun around family members. And everything like that. Like, what What was she thinking? And I wish somebody would have been able to find a way to stop her or something like, like catch her off guard or something like that. And obviously, when she was putting her gun away, she must have still had her hand on the trigger. And then when she pressed it, that's what and that's when it shot the boy. Like I said, the only good thing that came out of this is that the boy did not get killed. But still, at the same time. As young as he is, like, she could have, I don't know what kind of gun she used, she could have damn near blew his legs off. But she deserves every bit of punishment that's coming her way for sure. And I'm glad they didn't set a bond, and hopefully they don't set one either, because she doesn't deserve one at all. And nor does she even need to be around her child either. Like, she, this could have ended very tragically. Like, it really could have. So she should count herself extremely lucky that even in her drunken state that she wasn't, that she, that the aim was not in the direction of, say, his chest or his head. Something that would have taken him out. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments.